A thank you, Flower Power. Appreciate that a lot. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube content. So we're moved two cards, max HP. Um Okay. Might be statue. I like it. I can dig it. No, we're gonna go we're gonna revisit the ironclad. I just feel like that was a lot of bad that was two bad runs back to back. It's a little disheartening. So with white beast statue, you could probably take more elites. But you also don't want to sacrifice campfires, right? So let's do this path. The white beast statue is good in hallway fights as well, though. Slice is very nice. Okay, well, how new are you, like, are you playing against bots right now? So, Calculate Gamble is really good, just to take, right? But when it's going against Flying Knee, I feel like I probably want to take the Flying Knee. But Calculated Gamble can activate things like Tingsha, Tough Bandages, cycle into things you want to find for powers, help you find defense. But we'll take the Flying Knee, but Calculate Gamble is really nice. You want a top lane main? So yeah, I, I top lane main, but my last stint in league, I was top lane main. Okay, so... So you want to play top lane, but you also want to know what you can play for mid lane? Yeah, this is not... Okay, we'll take... Mm, I, I might as well just skip. But we'll take the blade dance. You, you do bow with squishies. Like when you're playing a squishy, you do bow with them. Okay, so that it, maybe you maybe you should just not play squishies. You don't gotta play squishies. You can play tanky bruiser top laners. If that suits your style. You do a lot of damage, but again, you're a glass cannon, and everybody's gonna be looking to kill you. So here's the wraith form again. We're going for it. Just beat a sense of ten with the silent. Nice, Tokamak. Welcome. So I'm gonna stop talking about league because we're not in a league channel, but um. If you want, you can message me in Discord, call me Jackson, I can I can talk some strategy and help you out a little bit. Or maybe we can play a game of League and help you out a little bit. Um, I don't know if I want the new Sneaky Strike, but we'll try it, right? We're in the business of trying things. So since we have Wraith form, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit inclined to go for the, uh, go for Elites here. We just gotta find the Wraith form. What's up, Shinyan? You just play out meta champs and builds? You got the Wraith form, but then... Okay, so Wraith form's pretty good. It allows me to use skills willy-nilly. Yeah, I'm using skills, who cares? Wraith form's OP, actually. Jesus. Jesus. Tough bandages. Oh, I knew I should take the Calculate Gamble. How did I know? Calculate Gamble, oh my gosh, so we got the discard synergy already. We're gonna go ahead and do Blur. I know we have Wraith Form, but with Tough Bandages, we're gonna be making a lot of X's block at some point, so Blur makes a lot of sense. I had a feeling we were gonna get some discard synergy. Calculate Gamble was toxic eggs, very good. Okay, I'm digging it. So if we're gonna be going for discard synergy at some point, I would say Sneaky Strike should definitely be upgraded. But right now we have zero discard. Gonna have to change that. So we got Nas is 100%. Oh, so Nas is really like he scales up, he's super tanky, and then all of a sudden he just takes a crap on the whole the whole enemy team. So Sign is really good as well. Exactly. Toxic Egg is great for discard synergy because everything I take now is going to be upgraded. It's fantastic. I'm excited. I'm real excited about this run. I'm not using my potions like I should be. I will take the Wally plants. So we can rest or so next elite. Since we have Wally, since we have Wraith Room, I'm not really too worried about the next elite. Well, here's the thing. We're against the Guardian, so I need to make sure I can win against the Guardian. And right now our deck's like is very suspect. Huh. 
Huh. If I'm feeling like I want to upgrade... I'll upgrade Wraith Form, but if I'm feeling like I want to upgrade Flying Knee, then, then that shows that I need more cards right now. So this is actually probably bad to use Wraith Form at this moment. Because if I don't win four turns, then after the fourth turn, I'm not going to have any way to... Uh... So let's do Dexterity Cloud here. I haven't been using potions. Mm. Damn, man, man, oh man. Silent Iron Club is better in this current state, by your opinion? I don't know. I, um, I've been having a lot of fun with the Silent. I would say Iron Club always seems to be in a really good state because of the amount of scaling he has. And he can utilize apparitions very well himself. And Reckless Charge is not a bad card. But I really think Silent with the apparition events and the Wraith form is in a really nice spa space. I mean, I don't know. I've been having a lot of success with Silent. I could do is a Wraith Form and mitigate a lot of damage. Threading Needle is fantastic. We were wondering, hey, do we have the damage? The Terra Plus is nice. Do we have the, the consistent defense, right, to take care of this Guardian? And now Thread Needle says, you know what? I'm here to have your back. What is up, Yannick? Welcome, welcome. Wow, now we have the blur, so everything's coming together. I'm liking this. So Wraith Form and Threading Needle go hand in hand, but you know what? I don't necessarily need to use Wraith Form. Maybe I should have used Wraith Form. Oh, never mind, we got, we got the kill. So I'm looking for things like Calculate Gamble, but Prepared not only does discard for the Tough Energy, it's also Prepared Plus. So we can rest, or we can say, you know what, I'm feeling optimistic. I don't want to rest. I don't think we're going to need to rest. With the, with the threaded needle plus the wraith form, I don't think I need to rest. So let me just see what I would upgrade. Right? Like, I'm thinking Wally Plains is a decent upgrade. Yeah. It's working now. Yeah, so the deck's working. Now we just got to get... Oh, that's unfortunate. We're gonna save Wraith Form towards the end. We may not even need Wraith Form. I feel like I wanna do that. That's that's a good amount of damage. So I lose one thread and needle, which makes a big difference throughout the whole fight, but I could have got a free strike there. Not having a weekend sucks. We're probably dead now. No, we're fine. Alright, we're gonna have to win in four turns.
Maokai's really nice, yep. So Wraithform saves the day. 3 HP, no problem. Thank God for Wraithform. Okay. Oh, another one. Double Wraithform times two. This is the second double Wraithform deck back to back. Now, again, Runic Dome is the play because we don't care about the intents. Okay. So let's go full YOLO, full offense, full discard synergy, full sneaky strike. All those good things. Let's go for elites now. Double Wraithform means elites is a possibility. Well, last time I had Shuriken, so that made a big difference. And we have Black Star, but now we have four energy and potions, so that's... I like this path. We get two elites and a shop. She could be attacking. I have no idea. She is. Be good. I'm gonna hold on to the ray form here. Easy peasy. So acrobatics is another form of discard for sneaky strike, but yeah, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take that. Yes. So we're looking for things that are not footwork, right? Because we're not really worried about... We're not worried about damage because we have two ray forms. So we want to focus on... We're not worried about taking damage because we have two ray forms. So we want to maybe prepare plus for more discard with tough advantages. Or we do things like Noxious Fumes. So we just play Noxious Fumes and let's... That allows us to buy time for ray form to scale up. We can do another sneaky strike, right? Another sneaky strike to get more damage. We just have to get more discard at that point, right? So we can do things like concentrate, but concentrate plus would help if I had card draw. I do have acrobatics for concentrate plus. How's doing cheese nibbles? Welcome. So we can do prepared plus. Noxious assumes cloak and dagger plus is not bad. Who's the boss? I kind of like the scaling of noxious fumes, right? Yeah, I think Contra Plus with the Acrobatics does make sense because we have the card draw. It does make sense. I like Noxious Tombs as, as well because it just gives me scaling. I just stay on the back end and let that scale up. We'll do Contra Plus. If we have a lot of gold, so we can probably find a good Relic. I don't know if they're attacking, right? So I'm going to go ahead and full block. Yeah, Noxious provides inevitability, right? So it gives me like the... The peace of mind, I suppose. It's also scaling, right? It scales on its own. So you can just buy time with the Rayform and Noxious Shrooms on the back end and maybe find like a Catalyst or something. So Rayform is nice. <laughs> We did this last in the first run, right? We're gonna try taking double rate from as often as possible and see how broken it really is. I'm hoping to find a uh, shuriken or something. That's really the key to success. No more dying cat emote. Damn, you just, you just used it the other day too. Everybody wants to go mid and show off yet. Isn't that right, huh? You nailed it right in the head.
So we got the Noxious Shrooms anyways. Give me a really good relic here. Gyria is not bad. That gives me... I mean, it's not scaling, but it's strength, which means I could probably do some work with it. So is there another shop maybe I could save my money for? There is another shop, so I can go ahead and save my money for the next shop. So there's two things I could do, right? I could do Gyria, and that's going to be really nice, or I can go for the next shop. I'm going to save my money for the next shop. Is there anything I want here, though? So backflip, seems, backflip Plus is not bad. It's not necessary. Let's, let's really go all in on the discard. Gary is nice, because we already have... Whoa. Do we do the bites? Do we do it? Nah. So I know they're attacking, right? So I'm going to go ahead and... They're not attacking for that much. They're not attacking for 30. But usually it's around 30, actually. Right about. Right about. So Blur is obviously really nice, but... I'm probably going to get debuff right here. Really unfortunate. So we have two turns to win, but now we have another Wraith Form. I'm not... I'm just getting used to the numbers. Yeah, I'm getting used to the numbers having on the screen. I, I might turn them off just because I'm not utilizing them. So we're going to go ahead and hold Wraith Form to get more value out of it, right? And I'm turning off the numbers just because I'm not utilizing them, right? And I tried using them. This was awkward. But I kind of like the numbers because it keeps me, has me keep count for expertise and stuff. So this is Wraith Form. Okay. Noxious Shoes Wraith Form, OP. How goes the win streak? What's up, Cosmonaut? So we won one, lost one, right? Oh no, we, let's say, actually we lost. We lost like a few back-to-back -back on the Ironclad and stuff. We just had a few back-to-back -back bad runs, but we don't talk about those runs. I would say right now we're one win on the Silent, one loss on the Silent. The win streak starts here, basically. <laughs> so piercing wheel, all that attack, dash. Um, all that attack's pretty nice. Strawberry. I thought we were going for more elites. This is interesting. We only got two elites. Eh, that's whatever. So we can do Wraith Form now. I mean, sure, why not? Yeah, Wraith Form's pretty good, right? I've been doing double Wraith Form. Mmm, another Wraith Form? Huh, that's a little... I probably should have kept the Wraith form, but we're gonna cycle back into it, right? I hope. That probably was a mistake, what I just did there. We'll cycle back into it. We're fine. We're fine. We're probably not fine. <sighs> We're fine. The Rafer's coming any time now. Any second. Any second now. Wraith Form is coming any second. Any time now. Right now. Now. There we go. We're good. See? Nobody's worried. Okay. Actually, perfect way to hold on to Wraith Form, to be honest. I took a little bit of damage, but I probably ensure that I win the fight by holding it on there. GG. G G. You're insulted by the comparison. Why? It's actually a really good comparison. So, 
I would say Wraith Form is just as strong as Demon Form. Yeah, in a way it is. He's right about that. Double Noxious Tombs for the Wraith Form. Okay. I have a lot of gold and I don't get anything worthwhile. That's unfortunate. I guess Mercury Hourglass is fine. It's really not the shop I'm looking for, right? Um... Sure, we can remove. At this point, we can start removing strikes. I mean, defense, right? I was hoping for some kind of scaling. Okay, we're in the clear. I need more DPS, exactly. That's why I was really looking for shur shuriken, right? Wow, I'm really upset that I don't have shuriken, but here's the thing. I bought Mercury Hourglass, so that's giving three passive uh, damage every turn, and I also have double noxious fumes, so the double noxious fumes with Mercury Hourglass is going to do some work. And there we go, GG. Not too bad, not too bad. Got any thoughts on the orbs in the patches? I haven't seen the, oh, I mean, like, the surprise orbs, what they could be, what they could mean. Um, to be honest, I had no idea. Probably has to do with the third character. Wow, double blur, huh? So blur's gonna be good here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the poison pot because we do have potions every turn. Stance switcher using magic orbs. That seems like a, a decent, a de decent uh, guess. I like that. What's up, Valking? Mega crit, such a tease. Uh, do we use Rayform again? I think we skip onto Rayform, right? turn to kill this guy or we have to cycle back into wraith form right so either or this, guy, this guy's doing a lot of damage so we have to cycle back into wraith form or we kill him now which looks like we can kill him now sneaky strikes op and wraith form is op jesus christ footwork plus counteracts a little bit of the wraith form i guess we could take footwork plus it counteracts a little bit of it but do we need it okay footwork helps when we don't have wraith form in play we're gonna upgrade the second noxious fumes and our whole plan is you're just killing with Noxious Fumes and attacks. It's probably better to hold on to all the attack for when the ads are out, in retrospect. So we really want to get Noxious Fumes out, right? Hmm. Okay. We'll take a little bit of damage, right? But once we get the Rift from we should be fine. We're not taking any damage. Interesting. There it is. Okay, we're fine, right? Let's hold on to the strikes. So at this point, we let Noxious Swim scale up, and the ads are going to die to the poison, anyways, and maybe the eventual all out attack here and there. I know, Reloading. Well, I forgot to update the subs, right? It's not like it happened in one day, but yeah, I forgot to update the subs.
Okay, I think we got DPS, right? So we have three turns to do DPS with Terror and the Poison. And then we have Mercury Hourglass and also another Rayform in the deck. If we, we can hold on to it now, actually. As long as all the attack doesn't discard it. Which is a chance. Oh, it's perfect. We we'll use this next turn. Or maybe on the turn we're taking damage. I'm take I'm gonna use it now just because I'm scared all attacks gonna get rid of it. Alright, GG guys, GG. Wow, wow, wow. Rayform's pretty good. Tell your mother, tell your friends. Rayform's broken. Something's fishy. It's too easy. I don't even have a good deck. I just have Noxious Shrooms and Wraith Form. That's like what I'm mainly doing. Woo. We're going for more elites. Grand Finale, Adrenaline, a thousand cuts. Um, we'll go for Adrenaline, right? So Grand Finale could be utilized because we do have Acrobatics, Prepared, some kind of deck manipulation. And while they plan to hold on to it, or we do a thousand cuts and we're playing a decent amount of cards. Um, let's do Adrenaline. Adrenaline Plus is better. So we can do for Veld Choker, Pandora's Box, or Black Star. You know, Pandora's Box is not bad because we don't care about our defense. And we have Toxic Egg, so I'm doing Pandora's Box. So Deadly Poison Plus, Prepared Plus, Blade Dance Plus, the New Crippling Cloud Plus, Dodge and Roll Plus, Backflip Plus. Piercing Wheel Plus. This is gonna be a sexy, sexy little deck. See it now, baby. We got the brand new Crippling Poison for seven poison and two weaken. That sounds amazing. Yes. So that strips the artifacts of Dono and Decca if I use it that way. I also could just find another way to strip the poison. I mean, strip the uh, artifacts. So let's go ahead and do at least one elite, I suppose. We don't have to go crazy and do multiple elites. We can handle one elite. I like this path. Crippling Class Soul. Is it? I haven't used it yet. Let's see. So we can try using it now. Nice. Let's try it out, guys. That that looks pretty spicy, actually. Wow. It changed it to Crippling Cloud, so now it does 7 poison in 2 weak and AoE and exhaust itself. Upgrade it, burst it, then catalyst. It's four turns a week and end their debt. Nice, 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 nice. Sounds spicy. Alright, GG. It's just like that. It works really well. Someone did mention it. It works really well with Noxious Shooms, right? Because they start off 7 poison AoE, and Noxious Shooms is keeping that ticking up. That was really nice. Calculated Gamble Plus is so good with the discard deck, guys. So there's the Shuriken, which we were talking about. A part of me wants to do Nightmare, guys, because I can do Nightmare Wraith Form and never die. Or I could do Nightmare Noxious Shooms. Or Nightmare Adrenaline, etc, etc. So Nightmare is the play. It's Nightmare Plus as well. And we'll do another Noxious Shooms. So now we have three Noxious Shooms and Nightmare. And two Madnesses Plus, even though I could take the curse. This deck is looking fantastic. So that would say that was like a pretty bad use of Crippling Poison, because I mean of Madness there. So I can go ahead and do Calculate Gamble now. Sneaky strike. Sneaky, sneaky strike. Double noxious fumes. Let's go. Nightmare, yeah, Nightmare is very OP. So we have Wraith Form out and we are ready to go. Well, Madness is not very good because it's most of the time it's actually like two curses in your deck, right? But in this situation, I have Toxic Egg, so Madness Plus is fine. But it, sometimes it does damage to you, right? And then it puts cards in your deck that you necessarily don't want for a lot of decks. But like I said, this is fine in this case. Another prepared or bouncing flask. 
Um, Bouncy Blast is pretty aggressive enough because our deck can handle aggression with Wraith Form. In fact, I want to make the second Wraith Form uh, upgraded. Nice. Okay. So let's do this. <laughs> Isn't it so funny when... Isn't it so funny when you can cycle your deck like that? So our goal here is to get the Noxious Zooms out and then get the Wraith Form out as well. Crippling Cloud is pretty good as well. Looks, it looks good, right? The star decks are the best, yes. You use Konami Apparitions to get ridiculous deck is amazing, yes. Man, Apparitions are insane. We got Wraithform, Noxious Fumes, and we're GG, right? These guys are gonna die anyways. Even with Wraithform. I don't even need the Wraithform. But, why not make it... Oh, that could've been so sexy. I just wasted time there, whoops. Prepared plus again? Is that too much? Seems like it's a little too much, right? I mean, sure, we'll take it. Let's go up here the second Noxious Shooms, right? So this deck is really nice. Bag of Prep helps me find my powers. Deadly Poison plus. Ah. Uh... Deadly Poison Plus. Oh, do we want Deadly Poison Plus? I think we skip. Nah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Blur Plus. So we're at a point now where we have nothing else to upgrade for the. Because the Pandora's box got rid of all destruction defense and mostly everything got upgraded. So I don't know if piercing will is good here. This is interesting. Oh, I don't take any damage. Hey, what's up, Big Baza? Yes, I am on our wind. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome. We've been having some really good luck and success with the silent guys. What's up, Gleb? How you doing? Happy April 20th. I don't really celebrate it, but... Yes, Eviscery could work well with this deck. Yep, yep, yep. Nightmare Blur? Haha. <laughs> 45 poison out of nowhere. I didn't even realize. Amazing. Yes, yeah, celebrate from us. Awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go. Let's take this one to a win. Oh, the burns. Oh, well. Regal Pillow is not going to do much for us. Another Noxious Fumes. You guys saw it here first. Four Noxious Fumes, double Wraith Form. It doesn't even matter. Is just such a good relic, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, wow, wow. Easy peasy. Let's go straight to the boss and make them feel our pain. Our, our wrath, rather. Skippy, skippy. Let's go ahead and upgrade. I'd say at this point we upgrade... I don't know. Blur, fine. I mean, we're not really utilizing blur, but just in case we have a bad first turn or something. Double Noxious Shroom is a very good start. Wraith Form, very good start. So there's a few things we could do. We could do Wraith Form right now, and or just do play Noxious Shrooms and Deadly Poisons. Uh, I think... So it's unfortunate to get... We have four Noxious Shrooms, so we can do this. We can do Wraith Form now. Maybe that's a little too early. That was a really bad first hand, actually. I don't want a first hand where I have like all my powers because I want to be able to. I want to be able to save reform, right? Like I have a good way to get defense. If I can get my discard going, I can get good defense. I guess we're playing reform again. Okay, let's hope that we can win in six turns, right? Because if we don't win in six turns, we lose. But luckily, we do have discard. Like, we have a way to make block with tough bandages, so it's not the end of the world. I feel like maybe I'm not getting the best out of my my, my cards or my turns. What is up, Cron Walt? Hello, to France. Bonjour. I had nightmare there. I made a mistake. We can do nightmare adrenaline, or I could look for. Nightmare Deadly Poison seems good. Nightmare Deadly Poison is actually really good, right? Because that's the most value for one mana for like a... If I want to end the fight quicker, then Deadly Poison is a really good way to apply enough poison to end it quicker, right? So we'll look for Concentrate here. Alright, so we got the next Noxious Zoom, so that's me. 12 poison a turn plus the deadly poison is already cycling in my deck like this is gonna be GG Easy easy guys Easy easy double wraith form four noxious fumes you can do double wraith form to anything. I think you'll win try it out Woo -wee. We actually didn't get any use out of Omori and that was a reroll boss relic 15, 25, very nice. 42 minutes, relatively fast. Relatively fast for a silent run.